The Honda CRV has always been one of the most adored crossover SUVs in the US, thanks to Honda's impeccable reliability record, and the current generation of the ever popular SUV was met with overwhelmingly positive reception as well. Well, you'd be surprised to hear that Honda just made it even better than it already was only a year into its life cycle. Join us as we take you through key reasons why the brand new 2024 Honda CRV stuns everybody. A powerful but economical powertrain. Honda has always been known for their frugal yet peppy engines. However, the two powertrains available in the new CRV definitely take the cake when it comes down to how economical the engines are without being gutless. The lower trim levels come as standard with a 1.5 inline 4 engine that produces a more than respectable 190 horsepower, making it more than enough for most occasions. The peppy little engine has been paired up with a CVT transmission, which allows the car to achieve solid economy figures of 28 MPG City and 34 MPG Highway. However, even though these figures are impressive, they're simply no match for the hybrid drivetrain that comes as standard at the upper trim levels. The heart of the hybrid drivetrain is a 2.0-liter inline-4 that, combined with the two electric motors, produces 204 horsepower. And the best part is the fact that it's also able to achieve a whopping 43 MPG city, making it one of the most frugal vehicles in its class, especially for city driving. Highway economy isn't as good, standing in at 36 MPG, however, it's still better than most of its rivals. One of the most comfortable rides in its class. MPG figures aren't the only thing where the CRV excels over its rivals, as it also offers a silky smooth ride compared to the other cars in its class. Sure, it's not as stable in the corners as the Volkswagen Tiguan, and it most certainly doesn't have the fun factor of the CX-50. But honestly, who cares? It's a compact crossover for God's sake. Its priority should be to be as comfortable as possible, and that's where the CRV absolutely annihilates both the CX-50 and the Tiguan. Its suspension has been tweaked so that it gracefully glides over bumps, and the seats have been specially designed to decrease fatigue on long trips and to further amplify Honda's accent on comfort. The CRV's driving position has been tailor-made for comfortable long-distance cruises. That's not to say that the CRV isn't a fun car to drive. In fact, far from it, as even though it's not as engaging as some of its rivals, it can still deliver a smile to your face once you hit the bends. One of the most practical cars in its class. The CRV has always been one of the most practical cars in the compact crossover segment, and the 2024 model is no exception to the rule. Starting off with the cabin, there's more than enough space to comfortably fit four adults in the car, and while the fifth one might struggle a bit, it's still far better than what the Tiguan has to offer. The rear legroom is more than enough for the majority of people, however. If you're planning on driving giants at the back of your car, you'd be delighted to know that the rear seats are reclining, and by pulling them back, you could squeeze out additional legroom for your passengers. 0.6 inches to be exact. The non-hybrid version has 39 cubic feet of cargo space at its disposal, which is two more than the VW Tiguan and almost 10 feet more than the CX-50. Furthermore, by folding down the seats, it can be expanded to an impressive 75.2 cubic feet. The hybrid version does eat up a bit of cargo space, allowing for only 36 cubic feet, which is still fairly large, and it too can be expanded to a respectable 68.7 cubic feet of cargo space. Oh, and the 1.5-liter CRV can tow up to 1,500 pounds, while the hybrid is limited to towing only 1,000 pounds, which is still more than enough for most people's needs. A beautifully conventional interior. If there's anything we simply adore about the new CRV, it'll most definitely be the interior. I mean, it's just so elegantly simple and well designed that it even feels comfortable to look at. Starting off at the gauge cluster, you simply cannot hide our joy at the fact that Honda decided to keep the speedometer analog while also offering a fully digital 7 inch screen next to it. It just so effortlessly combines that old familiar feeling of actual physical gauges dancing in front of you without getting rid of the numerous benefits that a digital gauge cluster offers. Other manufacturers should definitely take notes from Honda. Next up is the infotainment screen itself, and we're so grateful that Honda decided against going for an ugly 2x4 that runs throughout the entire length of the dashboard like some other manufacturers are doing. Honda decided to add a 9-inch touchscreen in the middle of the dash, making it easily accessible to both the driver and the front seat passenger. Oh, and to make matters even more convenient, Honda also decided to leave the physical buttons and swivels intact, which means that changing the temperature or adjusting the climate unit won't be a hassle, which can't be said for most of the CRV's rivals. Plus, we're really thrilled to see an actual physical gear lever instead of those stupid electronic ones that just flap around when you see them. The overall interior quality is also on a high level as throughout the entirety of the cabin, you'll be met with soft-touch plastics, aluminum, and leather, making the entire car feel and look much more upmarket than it actually is. 
a completely new trim level. The biggest change of the 2024 model year is actually the inclusion of an all-new trim level, which is the Sport L Hybrid trim. The Sport L bridges the gap between the two high-end trim levels, the Sport Hybrid and Sport Touring Hybrid, by combining the features of both versions into the most optimal package. It comes with a hybrid drivetrain as standard, just like the other two. However, unlike the Sport Touring Hybrid, which is all-wheel drive, the Sport L comes with front-wheel drive as standard, allowing the car to be more economical than the top-of-the-range model. Apart from this, the two cars are very similar in terms of equipment, as the Sport L shares the larger 9-inch infotainment screen with range topper, and it also comes with power leather seats as standard, and it's also outfitted with an 8-speaker system which, although not as good as the Sport Touring's 12-speaker setup, easily beats out the Sport 6 Speaker 1. Trim Levels and Pricing The 2024 Honda CRV is still one of the best bangs for your buck as it starts from $29,500 for the base LX model, and honestly, the LX is actually pretty good. Sure, the interior isn't as nice as the other trim levels, and yeah, the exterior is the definition of poverty spec, however, it actually manages to offer up quite a lot of luxury features as standard, such as the digital gauge cluster, forward collision warning and automatic braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and many other extremely convenient features that make the base model surprisingly good. The EX, which starts just over $32,000, does feel a bit more special, as it has a nicer exterior and a better equipped interior, since it comes as standard with heated seats and dual-zone climate controls. However, it's not all that big of an upgrade compared to the base model, so we wouldn't really recommend going for it, especially since the Sport Hybrid starts at only $1,300 more and it offers a much more economical ride, a better interior, and a heap of options that would be optional extras on the EX. Even better, the previously mentioned Sport L Hybrid starts at $36,350 and it offers absolutely everything you'll ever need from a car, starting from leather seats, an upmarket interior, an updated infotainment system, and many other options that'll allow your drive to be as comfortable as it can get without breaking the bank. Plus, the Sport L Hybrid just looks the part. Thanks to the upgraded wheels and the accented exterior, it looks so much better than the regular Sport Hybrid. If for whatever reason you don't want a hybrid, but you do like the equipment that you're getting with a Sport L, you should definitely opt for the EXL trim. It's basically the same as the Sport L except for a few cosmetic differences from outside and the inside. However, it utilizes the 1.5 petrol engine instead of the hybrid drivetrain. Finally, if you're a no-compromise type of person and you have money to spend, there are no substitutes for the Sport Touring Hybrid as it comes standard with all-wheel drive, Bose Premium Sound System, a heated steering wheel, and other luxury luxury amenities that are not available on the other trim levels. The Sport L might offer everything that you'll ever need from a car, but the Sport Touring most definitely offers everything that you ever wanted from one. Personally, we'd recommend going for either the LX model, the Sport L, or the Sport Touring. The LX is just too good of an offer to pass. The Sport L offers you the best bang for your buck, while the Sport Touring is just a bit more than the Sport L to make it worth the money. Thanks for watching and see you next time.